Hey y'all, Hadley with Corral Village Inn giving you a little video. This is a great time of the year, the winter time, to find treasures on the beach. One, there's not quite so many people on their beach uh, looking for treasures, so it leaves a few more for you. But also, too, because you've got two big currents out there that collide this time of year, the Labrador and the Gulf Stream. And when that happens, a lot of times they'll push the heavier items from the shore or from the ocean bed and put them up onto the shore. So a lot of times it's just a good time to find things. Um, so when I was walking on the beach the other day, I found this. And this might be something that you've seen before. Some people know what it is, some people don't. This is actually a long egg case, a, straw, uh, a spiral egg case, and it's got each individual egg case that you can see. Um, these little egg cases are actually for this shell that I'm holding right here, a whelk. And so a whelk is a snail-like animal that lives inside of here, and it will lay a long strand of here, these, it'll bury it into the sand, and then sometimes with these strong ocean currents that we talked about, they get uprooted and they end up on the beach. So I found this one dried up. So these eggs weren't ever going to be very viable uh, because they ended up on the beach, which is not where they're supposed to be, and dry. So if you open the egg cases, in each of these egg cases, there's about 25 baby whelks. So if each strand has about 100 of these, uh, then you could get about 1,000 baby whelks. Um, so a lot of people are like, well, yeah, you know, I find those, but I call them conks. What's the difference between a whelk and a conk? And so I actually had to Google it. I had to look it up because I wasn't really sure. Around here, we call them whelks, um, but it is because it's a different species. So there's a few differences between a whelk and a conch. One of the differences is that whelks prefer cold weather and cold water. So conchs are going to be found more in your tropical waters, like around the Bahamas. Um, whelks are also carnivorous and even cannibalistic. So they will eat meat. They're very good hunters and they'll even eat each other. And especially inside the egg cases, they'll eat each other before hatching. Uh, whereas conchs are herbivorous. So they just kind of graze along the sea floor, eating algae and other kinds of things that they find down there. Um, then we've got uh, the whelks, the way they reproduce is that they're actually hermaphroditic. So they have both female and male parts inside of them. So they don't need to mate with other whelks or find a mate in order to lay eggs, which is pretty impressive. Uh, whereas conchs actually have male and female separate within. And so then they are looking to mate with each other before they can lay an egg case. Um, so there are just a few different talking points about whelks and how you can find them. And even if you find these one of the things, uh, you can always open them up inside and see the little baby whelks if they're dried up and you know not viable anymore.